on hold so long. I just, I've been trying to find somebody to, to take the call for the adjutant general. As I mentioned, she's out of the office this afternoon. Uh, let, let me go ahead and transfer you. Can you hold for just a moment? All right. Who are you transferring me to? I'm transferring you to Major Bomar. How do you spell that name? Uh, last name is Bomar, B-O-M-A-R. A-R, Bomar. Major? Yes. Correct. All right. Thank you very much. Sure. One moment. Okay, so in, right now a judge is calling the National Guard, and uh, he's telling them. Stephen Bomar. Major Bomar, this is Gary Darby. Hi, sir. How are you? I am very, very concerned about this situation going on in Harney County. Yes. Have you seen the um, notarized request specifically for the provost marshal's help? I have not personally seen that myself. I'm aware that one may exist. Well, I personally delivered it to your office, so it does exist. Okay. Was that just today, sir? Yesterday. Okay. And let me read the pertinent. What is, what is your email? I will look it up right here. Did you send it to our AGPA? I hand-delivered it. Okay. So it may not have been picked up as of yet. I also sent it to the um, Major General's email address. Okay, very good. And my email address is gary.darby at drby.us. And that's gary.darby, D-A-R-B-Y? Yes. Dot. At gary.darby at drby dot us dot us okay I am, a I am a verified constitutional judge with the NOLP okay sir now let me I'm read this I'm going to shoot you an email so you have mine direct I appreciate that you bet let me read this most important part We are in fear for our lives and property as a result of commercial merc mercenaries operating under color of law calling themselves FBI agents. These men are pretending to represent the lawful government of the United States while engaging in criminal racketeering and murder upon mm -hmm. our shores. This is very short. These men are employed by the French banking cartel known as the International Monetary Fund, which is an agency of the United Nations. They are provoking acts of war upon our soil when they and their corporation no longer have any natural right to be here. Their contract to provide governmental services here is over. <coughs> we require the immediate assistance of the combined American military and civilian police forces to first identify and then remove these undeclared foreign agents from Harney County no later than Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016 by 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Time is of the essence because this is a life and death situation. It is signed by the duly voted in um, members of the count, uh, the county committee of safety, and it is uh, notarized as well. Okay, a, a few bullet points here of recent information that has come since this letter was delivered to your office. As of this morning, there has been unconfirmed reports that they are moving in MRAPs and other heavy equipment. Confirmed autopsy of uh, Lavoine, Lavoy has shown that he brutally was shot nine times when he was surrendering with his arms up in the air and did not have any weapons. He was then left on the ground to bleed out and die. The 
the leadership group was totally unarmed when ambushed when they were going to a peaceful town hall meeting. There has been unconfirmed reports of sightings of an armed drone circling the city and the county. There are now unconfirmed reports. Oh, I already said that one. Uh, there are confirmed reports that for since yesterday and all through the night, black SUVs with fully tinted windows have been arriving into the county. This is a violation and affront to the UCMJ on a multitude of counts. This is an urgent matter and requires your full attention to intervene and to protect the lives of these people that have specifically contacted you for your protection upon American soil. Now, if I am not mistaken, I'm ex-military. If I'm not mistaken, it is your duty when specifically asked by Americans in fear for their lives directly and under siege by foreign mercenary contractors that have been uninvited and asked to leave and refuse to, it is your duty to act and protect these Americans upon American soil. Please correct me if I'm, I'm in error on that. If called... So uh, through Posse Comitatus, uh, Title 10 forces, active duty forces, uh, cannot do that unless called in by what's called the dual status commander for with the appropriation between states' governors and the President of the United States. So Title 32 forces, National Guard forces, can be also be called based on the governor deciding to call them out. How long is this? And at this point, that has not been the case. Have you contacted the governor's office? I, um, I believe we have. Okay, very good. So did you get my email by chance? Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, I did. Very good. So uh, what I'd like to do is take that digital mm -hmm. copy of, of what you sent, and I'll get that to our intelligence folks so that they can report that up on the federal side. And then with the more recent information about the unconfirmed reports, uh, if you could put that in the email, we can also address it that way. Uh, and then, of course, we coordinate with the county because it's, it's usually on federal federal property, of course, it's a federal mission, and the governor's office already asked for action to take place. Very well, then. I so, shall send uh, that but information that, but that, to you. That request for action needs to come from the FBI, but if you're saying that these are pretend FBI agents that are from a French banking cartel, we need to definitely get that uh, up through uh, the federal side. All right, then. Well, I thank you for your time. I'll get that out to you immediately. Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, you did. You said you did speak, you did contact the governor's office with your concern as well. I have not personally. Okay. Will you have my contact information, sir? I put my additional contact information in that email. And uh, once I receive it, I'll just let you know that it was received and that we forwarded it up through uh, the federal side. And you... Uh, I will also bring this up to uh, the Adjutant General All right. and the <coughs> Deputy Director of this organization so that they can have it go through the state side as well. So uh, they may may not be aware of what you just told me. All right. I do appreciate that. So I take it at that at this time, uh, even in spite of the letter, no action is being taken or planned? Well, there is definitely, there's always a plan, as you know. Um, it's, it's a matter of if the federal government, they are the lead here. It is federal property. And well, we're, we're the governor to... has asked for them to take action, which, of course, they did uh, initially. It's still in federal hands. And, but there is always contingency plans that can go up to involving Title 32 forces if needed. You are aware that we are trying to stop another... Waco-style 
murdering. Oh, absolutely. And firefight. Nobody wants bloodshed. No well, it, it appears that the forces on the ground does want um, bloodshed because they've already murdered one person and they have, it's reported, we're trying to get the names of the ranchers. They've been going out to the ranchers and beating up the ranchers. I have one. Please put that in the email as well. Okay. We do have one verified um, rancher that has come forward stating that. They came, basically, they came in, got out of their SUV or, yeah, uh, no, he said it was a military-style truck. Knocked him. To, he was at, going out to feed his cows. They knocked him down on the ground, put their foot on his throat, and told him not to say anything anymore, or they will kick him. They will, I believe the term was, cut off his balls or kick him, crush, crush his balls. That's what they said. Well, that, that's obviously unprofessional behavior of a of a professional federal agent. I would think so, but these are absolutely. We believe these are Blackstone mercenaries, not federal agents, contractors. But again, okay. we cannot get a absolute confirmation on that. Okay. Well, when you send me that, I'm gonna and make sure you say that there, you believe. Why don't we say it's an unconfirmed that it's Blackstone uh, contractors? Very well. But, and I can get that over to our intelligence folks, and they can forward it up on the on the federal side to see what actually is going on there. All right, then. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. You too, sir. Take care. There is no... So you guys just heard that. Um, this is definitely serious. So, like, definitely, I'm being 100% serious. Stay inside because they are going around. There's already been a murder. They threatened... Um, that was the first time I've heard it, so I didn't know if there was going to be anything like, I didn't know it was going to be heard. So, um, make sure you guys definitely be careful and stay inside because now this is actually getting serious. There's people are, or, or there's like, um, a cartel, uh, that is coming here and threatening people and has already murdered a person. So, I will try to keep you guys updated as much as possible and, um, just be careful.